Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. Well, today is Floss Tube Day. <coughs> and of course, I get choked right off the bat. Well, I have my March mug and we're coming up on St. Patrick's Day. Just coffee today. Just coffee. Yep, we're in a new spot again. Because I got out the recliner and we're going to just go from here. And this is where I'll be doing my floss tubes. I don't think I can arrange anything to put do like a stitch with me here. We'll see. We might get creative. Who knows? It's been a week. And it seems like I did more than I did. But, yeah. Well... Not really. I, I don't know. It just seems like I only worked on one or two things, but I did briefly touch a couple of things. So, yeah. Um, I don't know where to start. I guess, first off, I only had one review last week, and that was for Biggest Craft. And on that particular video, I don't have the rest of it because, you know, I rearranged all the other stuff over there and we're still not organized, organized. So I don't know what I did with it, but we'll just start from here. So this is the picture that I started. And it's kind of long and skinny. I don't know. It's a uh, Joy Sunday, of course. And I don't know what the actual thing is it just tells you it's 241 by 95 high so it's just long and skinny but it did start on this side hold that a little bit i had it you know snapped up with my little blue clip things so i got some of that light colored stuff done and then I started down here on the bird, and there's two symbols for purple and two for red, and they both have two different threads. So I actually, this time, had to use my, you know, the, the chart that came with the whole thing. So, yeah. But I didn't get much done. I just got a little bit of the purple put in. So not much there. Not much to write home about. See, it folds like this because it's so long and skinny. So, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. So then I also worked on my poppies, of which I don't know what happened to this. It might be like down here in one of these baskets. But yeah, everything kind of went out the window when I shifted everything. So I may have it just in front of something and I'm just not seeing it. I do have the thread, see, but I don't have the actual picture. So this is the poppy field. So I worked on it a little bit during the live. And I changed around where I do my live now. So I'm really thrilled about that because I can lay it down and I can see it it's closer to me than when I was sitting on my couch and doing the live so yeah so we got a little bit more of it done just a bit and that's that that magnet that came with the what are they called line keepers somebody had sent me like two line keepers and then this was also on that uh, it was like a card you know, so evidently it came with four of, of the line keepers and four of the other. So they just sent me two of one and two of these. So, yeah, and I've never used them, but they make a nice little needle minder. You know me, I am not all fuss and guss and all that. You know, if it works and it's got a magnet, we're working with it. So, yeah. Put that down there. Then we'll get the big one out of the way. Of course, I worked on... European town and it's it's starting to be a little impressive you know with the windows getting done 
and you can kind of see more definition so I'm kind of happy with that so not much on it as you can see we haven't accomplished too much it's just slow going for me I don't know I don't know why I just well I had other things on my mind this week because I had to finish something now I did have a finish I want you to know I had finished. I know it's not a stitchy finish. I laid it down here just so nothing would happen to it. This is for my granddaughter's birthday. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to get it in the 11 by 14 frame and what to put like around the edges and how to go there. So not real sure how that's going to work. But Cinderella is done. She's got a glass slipper down there. You can see the two mice. But it's like one of those things that looks better from a distance, you know, than it does really close up. Everything gets to look pixelated. Does that make sense? So, yeah, it's beautiful. So, and all nice and bright and sparkly and shiny. So, I'm sure she'll love it. So, her birthday is like next Friday. So, that's all we got done there. Now, I did have... I'm looking. So I had two starts. One was the birds with the leaves. Yeah. And I don't think it'll take long. I just need to focus on it. But we were focused on other things. Then I started I'm trying this one that I got from Biggest Craft. Also, the same time that I got the bird with the leaves thing. And I kind of like the bird thing. I'll just have to figure out the reds and just kind of go slowly. So we worked over here on this side. And this is all she wrote. That's all I got done. That's all I worked on. Because like I said, I was trying to finish Cinderella. And then I moved everything. And then it took me a hot moment to get my act together to start... And not starting, but to finish the Cinderella thing. Because I wanted it out of the way, done. Yeah, so. What can I say? Then, I'm trying to show you all the pre-stamp stuff first. Let's see what it... Oh, I worked on... It's not a great picture, but... Of peacocks so we're just working right here in this part this area like on the greens and the the red I think I pretty much cut that flower almost done I think there's one more color in it but this is a uh, 40 by 70 oh shoot hang on we have stuff drooling let me just lay that by that just so it doesn't get lost because I might actually need it but yeah, it's so pretty. But we're just doing a little bit at a time. So, and it's another long and skinnier. It's a little bit wider up and down than that bird one. But that's okay. I think the bird one was like 30 centimeters. So I've almost got that flower done, as you can see. And we started working on the green in the, the leaves. And then it's all going to come down here. And then I can work on the birds. Yay! Because they'll be pretty. But isn't that a pretty flower? I like it. And it's got... I can't see. 34 colors. Yeah, I'm going blind, I swear. So, that's all the pre-stamped and the diamond painting that I worked on. Hang on. Crinkle, crinkle. Then, I got crazy. And this has kind of been a constant for a couple weeks, so I don't know what's going on. It's kind of hard. This is Louisa Cullimore from Hands Across the Sea. And we are down here in the bottom. So I'm about ready to level this out right here. So here is where I started. All right, I'm back. And... That'll show you where I started last week, you know, when I 
started working on this this weekend. So this, let me just fold that just a bit. It's kind of wide material. I didn't want to work. There's a crown right there. So I didn't want to work on that. So I finished all that so that it all matched up because it was like across here. So we did all that across and up. So there's just a couple, after I get done with that line, there's just like a little more like that and then something else here on the top. But that way it'll be all the way across. So I will have, is that six pages done maybe? Except for that crown. I'll go back and, you know, and do it. It's just, I don't know. I kind of have a, like a mind block, if you will. I just don't feel like working on it. I want to get all these little, these don't take very long, you know, so it's getting there, but yeah, it's coming along, guys, coming along. I have no idea how many pages there are, but their pages are kind of long and skinny, you know, so some have more stuff on them, and then some are like that, you know, so yeah, I don't know, but we're working on it a little bit by a little bit. I'm going to set that up there just so nothing happens to it. It's on. <coughs> I'm doing it again. Hang on. 28 count wheat colored Lugana from I think, well, it's Zy Zygarde Fabric, but I did get it at um, 1, 2, 3 Stitch a long time ago. I don't know if it's just Weigart or if it's somebody else. I don't think it's like picture this plus. I don't know. Yeah, as I know is it's 28 count wheat Lagana and it's stitching beautifully. And I'm using uh, I think it's 1169 uh, Selkie thread. So, yeah. And that guys, is everything that I worked on all week long. Yeah, not a very big flop to here. But I did get Cinderella out of the way. This is a consistency. The the Louisa colored more just because it's easy to work on. You know, I can get little bitty pieces and parts done. You know, it's not such an overwhelming thing. I just go one page at a time except for that crown, and I'll try to finish it this weekend. I'm not making any promises, but, yeah. It's such a, a dense piece. Yeah, I really got to pay attention. You know, the other, you can pay it. See, it looks like this. And then we'll have it right across. So, yeah. It'll get there. It'll get there. I'll set my mind to it. And it'll probably take me a whole... Maybe an hour, hour and a half to stitch it. Maybe more. I don't know. Just throwing out numbers. So that was it, guys. I mean, other than changing the whole room around, putting this up. This, was, it was like a nightmare day. I had to move everything twice. You know, I got the bookcase where I thought I wanted it. And then there wasn't enough space behind me to put the tubs there. The, you know, what it call them storage bin things so I ended up put taking everything back off the bookcase putting it back where it originally was putting everything back up on it and then shoving the tubs along where I was going to put the bookcase if my brain had just been working all I really would had to have done was move my big desk out of the way, put the tubs in, and we'd have been done. Now we got to do everything the hard way. Because Laura measures nothing. Yeah. Just, oh, it'll fit. So I'm not real clear. Since I've got this out, that's left like this gaping hole over here. So I might be able to get rid of some of those tubs into there. You know, because I'll leave this chair here through the, uh, 
through the summer because right here in this window is where my air conditioner is and it'll blow right across and this is great for right here there's I don't stack things on top of it you know Molly likes to sit here yeah she'll be thrilled sick but I haven't seen her over there yet so and since it's such a light color I have this I call it an Indian blanket. It's one of those blankets you could have bought at something on a street corner, you know, that had like an Indian design, and I'm sure, you know. It was one of those cheap blankets. I don't even know where I got it, actually. It's not real fancy or anything like that, but I keep it on this because when she jumps up her claws, I didn't want her to ruin the, the thing. So I'll see within the coming days if I can move my, my long arm over here and maybe we can do some stitching here. Just not real sure. That's about all the plans I got. I will have um, some reviews this week. So look forward to those. Got some really beautiful stuff coming in. Because, yeah, you know, all the things. So one week we have 20 reviews, and then the next week we got nothing other than Stitch Along Drills With Me or European Town or The Live or whatever. So we're just kind of throwing everything together here. But other than that, not a whole lot going on. I will have my live on Saturday. Now, I'm not real sure about next weekend because I don't know if my daughter is going to have my granddaughter's, excuse me, birthday party, not birth, well, we, a home family birthday party, because she didn't want to have a birthday party with all the kids from school. That, that wasn't happening. And it's just not conducive to go out to the park, you know, and nice enough to be out there all that time. So I think my daughter and I are going to take my granddaughter like shopping for whatever you know she wants or whatever and then because she likes to go shopping maybe she can pick out some nail polish she loves to have her nails polished she's six I know it's a thing so we're going to do that and then take her out to lunch you know at our favorite restaurant so, just not sure how that's all going to end up or what day that's going to happen. So, I'll let you know. I'll keep you informed, you know, when and if there's going to be a live two weeks from now. But there will be one this week. Now, yesterday, I couldn't get my act together to save my soul. So, we had the time change this weekend. And I didn't go to sleep on Sunday night until about... It must have been close to 3 o'clock in the morning. And I had to be up by 7, 7.30. And I just couldn't wake up enough to do a video. So yesterday didn't have a video. I'm so sorry. It is what it is. So missed one day. But we'll try to keep it going. And do what we got to do. So... Everything's pretty much planned for this week. So we'll get it. We'll get it one way or the other unless I decide to, you know, my daughter and I go somewhere or, you know, because I like to show the outdoor nature-y stuff. I just don't know what the weather's going to be like Wednesday and Thursday. It said snow and sometimes this time of year it's like, eh, mm, no, no snow, you know, or yep, we got 12 inches. You know, that's just how it goes around here. So, hang tight. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm so glad you showed up today. And thank you for watching all my other videos and sticking with me thick and thin here. Yeah, I appreciate it. I really do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Keep stitching.